Now, there is a hot new trend in farming, and it's probably not what you think. Here's Chris with more. Barbara, that trend is known as indoor farming. It's catching on in urban areas nationwide, and one of the pioneering indoor farms is right here in the Chicago area. We could grow. We could grow in water. We could grow with no chemicals, no pesticides. So we could grow with nutrients from fish. Now can we sell that? Yolanta Harde is CEO of a company called Farmed Here, the largest organic indoor vertical farm in the country. The concept blossomed in her basement about three years ago. She and some friends were experimenting with aquaponics, a system of growing plants with water and fish. Our first sale was in a Ziploc, regular Ziploc bag, basil and Ziploc bag with just a label. And I went to the, one of the owners of uh, one of the Chicago stores. So he tasted it, he loved, loved it, he said, bring it on. And that's how the, the, the Romans went local basil started. Today her company's products can be found at Whole Foods, Mariano's and other retailers. The vertical farm with racks and racks of green leafy plants, including basil and arugula, occupies a 90,000 square foot concrete building in Bedford Park. It had been sitting empty for five years. The operation requires a lot of water and a lot of fish. Without the fish, we'd be using, it would, we'd, you'd have to use chemical fertilizers. So basically we're using them to fertilize our plants, uh, to naturally fertilize our plants. Each tank holds 800 to 1200 tilapia. The waste they produce is filtered and then pumped into a series of growing systems stacked about three stories high. The plants act as additional biofiltration since they're soaking up all that waste, all those nutrients, and basically it goes right back to the tanks and it starts all over again. There is no dirt on this farm. The plants begin as seedlings in a spongy cork-like plug made from coconut trees, which are then placed in water-filled trays. We start them at this end. As they get bigger, we push them down, and the heights are a little, a little taller here. So we're moving them as they're growing. If it's growing in the States, it's growing in Hawaii or California, but to grow it in the dead of winter in Chicago is, is fantastic. Not only is there no dirt, there's also no sunshine at this indoor farm, just overhead lighting. That's not sunshine, absolutely. It's fluorescent light. That's the only way we could grow 365 days out of the year, seven days a week, 24, 24 hours a day. We're not exposed to droughts. We're not exposed to water runoffs. We're not exposed to pollution. We're trying to mimic m m Mother Nature and provide the best possible um, environment. Despite the lack of dirt and sunshine, Harde maintains her plants are still getting all the nutrients they need from the fish. She believes that as more people around the world move to cities, the need for indoor farming will grow dramatically. We're looking into about 9 billion people in the world by 2050, so we really uh, have to concentrate how we're going to feed those people. Um, how do we provide them with sustainable way of growing.